Well, let's go back to all things Olympic because it's been a big day in the Olympic boxing ring with the men battling for places in the finals of all 10 weight divisions. Ireland's Michael Conlon collected bronze after losing his flyweight semi-final. Well, I've been speaking to the former world professional boxing champion, Barry McGuigan, who started by giving his thoughts on Team GB's Freddie Evans, who now has a shot at gold after winning his welterweight semi-final. He beat the reigning world champion from the Ukraine, boxed superbly, won by a, a fairly comfortable margin, and is now into the Olympic final. My God, isn't that incredible? It's hard to believe it. We've had so much success in the boxing. Luke Campbell got through earlier on today. Um, unfortunately, Anthony Agogo was beaten by an incredibly talented um, Brazilian, who I, I feel sure is going to win the gold medal. But um, unfortunately, disappointment for Ireland's Michael Conlon, though. Disappointment for Michael Conlon um, because he fought one of the best Cubans I've, I've ever seen. He's absolutely brilliant. There's an 18 year old kid who's won the world uh, youth title, won the Olympic youth title, and he, Ramirez is going to go on, I think, to win a number of Olympic titles. Maybe he'll even equal the great uh, Teofilio Stevenson and win three. Very talented kid. That was unfortunate. But earlier on in the day, of course, we had John Joe Nevin, who won the 56 and beat the Cuban, the world champion. <laughs> schooled him completely. He looked absolutely magnificent. He's red hot at the moment. And he, he fights Luke Campbell, who, of course, beat the Japanese guy comfortably. And they will fight uh, tomorrow in the final. And this is a rerun of the World Championship semi-final in November, in November last year that took place in Baku and it went down to the wire. There was one point, I think, separating them in the end. But uh, this is looking looking like it's going to be a barnstormer of a wow, final. So what's your tip then in that case? I think Nevin is really, really good. I think if he can beat the Cuban who was tall and rangy, I, I'm going to give him the edge. But anything can happen. Campbell is a, a former European gold medalist, very talented, and it, it would be very close. But uh, it, it could be down to a hair's breadth. So you think there is a possibility of beating the Cuban, even though Cuba has got such an amazing history of boxers? Well, uh, John Joe Nevin already beat the Cuban today, and of course he fights Luke, as I mentioned, in the final uh, at 56. So that, that, is a, a, you know, that is a very competitive uh, match, and either of the guys can win. And in terms of these Olympics, of course, we've seen women's boxing for the first time in Olympics. Now, Katie Taylor, Nicola Adams, Clarissa Shields, yes. they are becoming household names. Incredible. I, I, I mean, listen, anybody who doubted how good women's boxing uh, is, if they came along and you didn't tell them they were men in, uh, uh, and, and, or women or men, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Nicola Adams was impeccable. Katie Taylor was incredible. Four world championships she's won. And uh, Nicola came to the four. The two of them are great flag bearers for the sport. And I think we'll have the full complements of weights in four years' time. It's been a terrific event. Aiba should be very proud of themselves. And GB Boxing, what a legacy they've left behind them. That was, of course, Barry McGuigan speaking to me a little earlier.